I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number three, the start of the pick six, 13.40 is the time you need to get involved in those pick six bets, 2,200 meters of distance, and this is a maiden plate, and it's a race where pick six wise, I think you could be safe with three horses, that's numbers two, twice as perfect, number three, La Dreamer, and horse number five, Johnny's Hope, place accumulator wise, I'm going to go two and three, and uh, twice as perfect, Massive improvement last time out behind uh, Take to War. There hasn't been any runners from that form line yet, so we're not quite sure how it's going to hold up. But um, in terms of uh, this race here, it's, it's actually a form line that uh, could be seen to the four year because we've got three runners, and I think two of them have got lively chances. That's two and three. Twice as uh, perfect, drawing gate number two, and uh, I expect further improvement on his last start behind uh, Take to War. Number three, La Dreamer. She absolutely flew to get that second position last time out, and she was running on quite encouragingly towards the uh, end. Distance, not an issue. Positive draw and uh, Timothy Pretorius, he's looking for his first winner and it uh, could certainly come on Monday, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. He could get a day late Christmas present here with horse number three, La Dreamer. Rachel Venica now takes a ride and Rachel is actually someone who could just suit this royal daughter of uh, Cape Town Noir. She's uh, yet to uh, get a border but she rides her for the first time on Monday and I think uh, she's gonna be a serious contender. So if I was pushed into a corner, She'd be the narrow first choice ahead of the two. And then number five, Johnny's Hope. That form line of his last start behind the Bund is uh, working out because a Majestic Warrior has come through to win. And there's been a couple of placings as well from the form line. He tries a 2-2 for the first time. And if, if he manages to see out the distance, then he's, uh, then he's a horse that will be very, very competitive. And uh, he'll be effective here. He's run behind the likes of Paris Pike, who does look to be an improving stayer in the making from the Robbie Hill yard. And that was on the poly track. Perhaps uh, he wasn't on his best on that day and uh, could possibly ignore that run. Last time out, much better performance coming from way back. He was drawn 11 out of 13 and they had no choice. Had to drop him out from the draw and he powered on strongly. His 400 to finish was in a time of 26. He was the fastest to finish that race and he's a horse that uh, I think you must include into the first leg of the pick six. So two, three for the place accumulators and uh, bypots and then pick six. I would just throw in horse number five, Johnny's Hope into the mix who uh, if he sees out the distance, he will be very, very competitive. Uh, but uh, number three, La Dreamer. Hopefully, Timothy Pretorius can land his first winner as a trainer on Monday in race number three. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.